So Apollo going after the one title that has thus far eluded him the world championship. This is a tough field as you look down that list number 121 on Hyun Soo of Korea. He is the 17 year old 2002 world junior champion very fast very small very dangerous only 5'5 five, five, 120 pounds but he is quick. They'll start slow the position a lot of strategy in this race it's strategy psychology and then speed and keep in mind with three Koreans in this race they will help each other they'll try to block and shield. Well and that's just it Tim they're really going to try to control this race but you do have two Canadians so they can try to work together as well and try to you know break things up here and there Apollo he's like on his own. Kim uh, Dong Sung the Korean who won the world title a year ago is not here he is injured Jean-Francois Monet one of the Canadians that you talk about perhaps the hottest Canadian coming into the world's but what is Apollo's strategy here. Well he's got to try to stay in the front I mean that's so key and you really want to try to keep breaking the Koreans up keep breaking the Canadians up he's really in a tough position into second place perfect place for him right there right near the front. On Hyun Soo number 121 continues to lead but the Koreans exchange places they'll set the pace and they'll try to block out occasionally. It's still one two three Korea and Apollo Anton Ono hanging back. But you got Jeff Shouten right up there with him trying to split them up again. You know this is what's going to make for a fast paced race because they're going to continually keep trying to change change the pace keep changing who's in the lead. Finally the Koreans one stays tight one goes wide and they block out the field. And that's the way they're trying to keep everybody else behind them. It's getting critical now as we approach the five lap mark. Here we go. But uh, the thing is to me Apollo's got the power and the speed to go on the outside. He just went on the inside but I think he's got to go outside around these guys. Everybody remembers the controversy at the Olympics. It was the Korean and it was Apollo Ono. It was Kim Dong Sung at that point. But here comes Apollo Ono who takes to the outside still in third. Lee who's right behind Apollo. You can see he's kind of faltering there. So now it's a three man race. They're really picking up the pace here. Both arms are down. Here we go. The bell lap. Apollo Ono tries to go on the inside. He's cut off by Song Suk Woo. And it's so important you need to score points. Don't get disqualified. Make sure you score points. One, two, three. Korea did a marvelous job of blocking out Apollo Ono. He's not happy. What's he complaining about, Bonnie? Well, I think he kind of got hit in the face. We see it coming out of this turn. Apollo tries to pass on the inside. There's no space right there. Song hits him right in the head, but there's nowhere for Apollo to go. Song did an awesome job of holding this track. Well, then why wasn't there a foul? Song had the lead, so therefore he's got the right away. And Bonnie, what happened to him at the finish? Well, with a half a lap to go, Lee passes him on the outside. I think at this point, Apollo's just really ran out of gas. So it's Korea 1 2 3 on Hughes who picks up 34 first place points Apollo Ono fourth place gets only eight but even though he's roughed up he offered no excuses uh, about three laps left. I don't know I feel like uh, slipping a little bit you know so I couldn't accelerate but it was a good race you know the Koreans strong skaters you know they're going to go to the front and pull as a team but I feel, I feel like you know I'm the guy they're gunning for but that's okay you know it's just more experience and uh, it's probably going to make me a better skater.